Hello and welcome to Thought for August the 27th. Our readings are 1 Kings chapter 22, Jeremiah chapter 49 and 1 Corinthians chapters 8 and 9. And our thought is, but I hate him for he never... In the last chapter of 1 Kings today, it is about prophets, human prophets. The kings of the northern kingdom of Israel gathered a lot of what we might de- describe as the modern phrase, hangers on. Such always aim to be optimistic about the future and tell the king of their optimism, and the king called them prophets. It is not that different today. Industry and governments have Hosts of advisors who plot and forecast future trends. Virtually all these modern prophets came horribly unstuck in the world's financial disaster of 2008 and 2009. And after a period of cautiousness, they seem to be repeating the same mistakes again in 2024. Our King's chapter is about Ahab's large team of advisor prophets. He asked them about 400 men, Shall I go to battle, or shall I refrain? And they all said, Go up, for the Lord will give it into the hand of the king. Verse 6. But Ahab was being supported on this occasion by his cousin, King Jehoshaphat of Judah, and he asks if there is a prophet of the Lord of whom we may inquire. Verse 7. We notice he calls God Yahweh, for whenever the text has Lord in capitals, that is the Hebrew word. Ahab admits there is such a prophet, but he says, I hate him, for he never prophesies good concerning me, but evil. Verse 8. The prophet Micaiah is brought before the king and tells him, The Lord has put a lying spirit in all these your prophets. The Lord, Yahweh, has declared disaster for you. Verse 23, a brave man, and he gets put in prison, we read in verse 27. Today, those who expound God's prophecies get ignored and its message of coming disaster. Of course, the fact that some have used their own faulty wisdom in elaborating on God's word has been a factor in causing this. But we turn our back on God's actual prophecies at our peril. And this is what Ahab did. He got killed, despite disguising himself for the battle. We read in verse 30 and 37. And what Elijah had prophesied about his end came to pass. Chapter 21, verse 19. To use Paul's word, which we read today, he was disqualified. He lost the race of life, as has happened to some Olympians in their kind of race. Paul says of Olympians, they do it to obtain a perishable wreath, but we an imperishable. He then writes, I discipline my body and keep it under control, lest after preaching to others, I myself should be disqualified. 1 Corinthians 9 verses 25 and 27. Let us choose carefully what we hate and what we love. Then we will never be disqualified. Well, thank you once again for joining us for Thought for the Day, where together we can open up the pages of God's Word, knowing that Word to be a lamp to our feet and a light to our path.